families fighting over the last shorts and shirts in the shops. Mm. Now then, here's a mini Mr. Manford looking Aww. smart in his uniform. Aww. Still got that smile. I used to always pose as Stan Laurel on my school photos. I would show you a picture of Alex, but uh, she didn't bother to bring one in. No, it's not that I didn't bother. Mam can work out how to email it. I don't know what's going on there. But whether you think they're a good thing or not, the tradition of dressing for school began with the best of intentions, as Lucy Siegel found out. Where's your right. tie, Jenkins? In your pocket, sir. It's a design to go in your pocket, Jenkins. It goes round your neck. I have to say, I never really liked my school uniform. Itchy, uncomfortable, and, well, just not very cool. This week, millions of children around Britain will don their blazers and head back to school. Parents love them and kids loathe them. But why do we wear school uniforms anyway? Christ Hospital School in Horsham has the oldest school uniform in the world. Now, although the pupils might look regal by today's standards, the origins of their uniform are actually more humble than you might think. Well, the school was founded in 1552 and the original purpose of the school was to provide an education and an opportunity for the orphans and the other poor children in the city of London. The idea was to really try and find a uniform that was practical but that also was cost effective and the blue coats and the yellow colouring in the stockings largely came because those dyes were the cheapest that they could uh, secure. Ollie, I have to ask, what are you wearing? Um, well, yeah, it's quite an odd uniform, but um, this is the main coat, which is called the housey coat. Which is really heavy. Good for winter, but as you can see, in the summer, it could get quite hot. This is like something a barrister would wear. Um, yeah, they're called the bands, and you wear them to attach to the shirt here. So is that instead of a tie? I think it's the equivalent sort of thing, yeah, yeah like an old school version. And then trousers. <laughs> wow, they're like kind of knickerbockers. <laughs> breeches. <laughs> With these little kind of buttons yeah, on the side. which all have the image of the founder of the school, Edward VI. And then obviously we have the yellow sock. I mean, they're pretty distinctive, aren't they? Oh uh, yeah, they're quite original. How did your socks stay up? Because these don't seem to be very elasticated. Yeah, that, I don't, no one really knows. <laughs> they just sort of manage to stay up with sort of friction or something. Even though most school uniforms have transformed since Tudor times, they still seem to get the same reaction. I don't like my school uniform because we have to wear tights and it makes me uncomfortable. I can't really run and do like gymnastics and stuff because I've got a skirt on. The ties really, uh, it's really suffocating. The blazer is really hot and you can never get the right size for it. My sleeves um, are a little bit long, but I need to get used to them and they need to grow. I need to grow into them. Uniforms not only make you look smart, but according to some experts, they can have a profound effect on a student's psychology. Quiet, please. It's definitely harder to bunk off school in a blazer and tie. The school uniform is used as a first line of defence against bad behaviour. Whether it's inside the school or outside the school, you can tell who it is and the school can stop it. Do you think the uniforms are in any danger of dying out? I think quite the contrary. With the, the new academies, league tables, the, there's lots of competition between schools and the uniform is used as uh, one way of uh, projecting their aspirations of the, of the school. Uniforms are definitely here to stay. I think the, the role in our society is more necessary than ever. Let's be honest, school uniforms, they really were quite hideous, weren't they? The only consolation being that the next generation's got to wear them too, because there really is no escaping the old school tie. Oh, Lucy Siegel out there. That was a very... <laughs> My dad emailed that before I had a chance to stop him. My oh, word! Look at the hair! It's appalling! I can't believe they let me out like that. Yeah. That is amazing! <laughs>